this video, I am going to show you how to try Chromium OS inside a virtual box. The first thing you need to do is to go to this website. I will put the link in the description. And you need to download the latest um, Chromium OS Nightly build for VirtualBox um, from this website. I'm using the vanilla version. They also have a Lime version, which I believe has a few extra features or programs or drivers, something like that. I haven't tried the Lime version, though you can try it out if you would rather. Um, though anyhow, I have already downloaded it, so I'm going to show you how to set it up inside a virtual box. So just type in whatever you want. I am going to call it Chromium OS, and I'm going to select Linux, either Linux, or Linux, as some people like to say, next. I know Linux is right, I'm just used to saying Linux. I'm going to give it 4 gigabytes of RAM, which is, you know, more than enough. It should only need 1 gig, probably. Um, and I am going to use an existing virtual disk image, VDI image. Uh, this is the one I have downloaded, the vanilla build. Um, I believe it's late August, from late August, that particular build. So I'm going to click Next and Create. Now before I run it, it is very important that you um, change the network adapter. You need to select Advanced and you need to change it to this one here, Intel Pro 1000 MT Desktop, because if you leave it to the default, it's not going to work. And you might also want to go through and change a few other settings. I usually like to put the video memory up and enable 3D acceleration. So I'm just going to click OK and run the Chromium OS virtual machine now. There might also be um, some mouse pointer issues um, because um, Chromium OS does not support mouse integration. So you're, need, you're going to need to you know, give um, the virtual machine full control of your mouse. You are going to be able to duck in and out of it. Um, so Chromium, I have yet to use it myself, so everything I show you I'm seeing for the first time. Chromium, welcome. Okay, select your language. Okay, I'm going to do English Australia, leaving the US keyboard layout, and it's um, come up with Ethernet. Um, if you didn't change the Ethernet adapter before, there's a good chance that you are not going to see anything there. I am going to now click continue. Chromium updates automatically, so you always have the freshest version. Press Escape to skip, non-official builds only. It's currently checking for updates. Okay, now it wants me to sign in. If you don't have a Google account, you can create a Google account now. You may also skip the sign in and browse as a guest. In this um, case, I might browse as a guest. We have the shutdown button down there, as well as the time, which is currently incorrect for where I am. Um, for us as a guest. And this is pretty much Chromium OS. It's basically just a web browser by the looks of it. Nothing extremely exciting really. We have the time there. So the 1st of September 2012, Saturday, we have volume controls. We can just click the mute button instead. We have um, keyboard layouts, I have the US and UK options there, and we have internet connection settings, and that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see, there mustn't be any other programs. What happens if I close that? Okay, that's not good. Can I set the wallpaper? No. I have no idea what is going on, if I'm completely honest. How would I log out? Clicking escape doesn't help. Okay, maybe I should have logged in. I might just um, reset the um, virtual machine and log in and see if that makes a difference. Or maybe it's playing up and not working properly, I'm not sure. So let's take a look. Okay, I'm now going to log in using my Google account. Okay, it looks like I'm currently logging in now. 
Uh, this looks better, Chromium. Choose a picture to display for your account and the sign-in screen. Uh, let's see, I don't want the picture of myself, that's pretty boring. Um, yeah, I might be a penguin. Okay. Okay, that looks a bit better. We've got the Chrome logo and it's loading. Oh, this looks pretty interesting. Chrome, welcome to your Chrome device. The new Chrome OS look, learn how to access apps, rearrange windows and change settings. Master your touchpad. There are a few different things here. I wonder if I can change the resolution and make it a bit bigger. Or what happens if I try and readjust with it automatically? No, it won't. Okay. Okay, let's take a look down here. If I click this, it will open up a new tab. There is a little bit of lag at the moment, probably, because I'm using a Bluetooth mouse inside of a virtual machine. Tips and tricks. What will this open up? Okay, that seems to be a bit buggy. I presume this is where all of the applications etc are. So we have Chromium. This is just a link. There must just be web links really. We have a link to the Chrome Web Store. And if you maximize a window, it sort of hides the menu at the bottom there. And notice that because I obviously logged in with my Google account. Um, yeah, it's got my Google account everywhere. What else do we have? We have files. I wonder if this connects. Yeah, it does. It connects to Google Drive. That is pretty good. I don't use Google Drive on this Google account. I use it on one of my other Google accounts though, which could come in handy. All of that is pretty much the same as before. We have a few more options though. The question mark, I imagine that's support, yeah. You have the option to turn off the computer or virtual machine, whatever, to lock it. What comes up in the settings? These must just be the Chrome settings, unless there are a few, I know, Chromium OS settings. The Chromium OS settings looks very similar to the Google Chrome settings, as you would probably expect. It's a little bit slow loading it up. History, extensions, it's pretty much Google Chrome with a few extra settings. It's lagging a little bit, it shouldn't be lagging. The virtual machine has plenty of power. So yeah, it's very similar. You just have internet connection, which is something you wouldn't normally see in Google Chrome. We have a few different things. We have mouse speed. What happens if I put that up? Actually, oh, that's helped. I can now move the mouse around a bit faster just by adjusting that. That's a little bit too fast. Yep, that's better. So there are a few different settings. You can sort of set a wallpaper. Let's see what happens when I click set wallpaper. It's loading a different address. I suppose that the whole OS is pretty much hosted in the cloud really rather than on the computer or part of it would be on the computer, part of it would be on the cloud I imagine. Let's just change it over to grass and click OK. and notice the different backgrounds, if you can see it. Okay, how do I get out of this full screen mode now? Oh yeah, just by hovering over there. So yep, as you can see, the wallpaper has changed. So this is a very simplistic operating system really. It's kind of like using, um, you know, one of those old um, Linux terminals, you know those old Linux terminal computers, they were pretty much done computers running off of you know the servers, the old Sun Solaris ones back in the good old days. Um, yeah I'm not sure if there's anything else I can show you really. Users, 
he must be able to add multiple user accounts etc. We have advanced sync settings so you can sync apps and things like that so every time you log into Chromium OS on another computer it might automatically download your apps etc. We have some more advanced settings. Let's just take a look. You can change your time zone. That's not my time zone. I might change it. But yeah, I won't go through all of the settings. Most of them are the same settings in um, you know Google Chrome, really. The scrolling is mucking up a bit, probably just because it's inside of um, the virtual machine. So yeah, that's pretty much all of the settings. Was there anything else down here that I missed? Settings, the volume control, keyboard, connections. Now that's pretty much it really. We have a few web links. I don't know, let's go to learn about web applications. That's okay, what are web apps? Blah blah blah. Well, web apps are basically just apps from the Chrome Web Store, apparently. So, you know, obviously in Google Chrome, you have um, the web apps, you know, sort of come up whenever you open a new tab. It's basically the same thing, except um, the web apps also open down here under apps. I don't believe that I have any web apps on this account. Oh, and you can't change to web apps by clicking on the arrows like you can in normal Chrome. They probably are trying not to confuse people. So what's a good web app I can download? Turn off the lights. She looks hot. I don't know what that is. Um, what's a good web app to download? Oh, Plants vs Zombies. You can't go wrong with that. Free trial. Okay, let's add Plants vs Zombies and click on it. Really it's just a link to a web browser. Oh and the plugin isn't installed. Can you install Flash in Chromium OS? I presume it uses Flash. Is this going to load or not? I don't know, maybe Flash needs to be installed. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video really. Yeah, I can't really scroll like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, yeah, I recommend downloading it, trying it out. Though I will be very surprised if anyone wants to use this as their primary operating system. Like, you know, it's just a bit too simplistic. I can understand why um, Chromebooks never really took off. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask me and thanks for watching.